Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Verkama Law of this Legal Podcast, the NJ Laws Tube, looking at cases and statutes dealing with criminal law in New Jersey. And in this edition, we look at uh, intoxication as a defense to a criminal offense. And under New Jersey, intoxication can sometimes negate the element of an offense. And that statute is NJSA 2C colon 2-8A. For example, let's say it's an eluding case and the police or in the state have to prove that the defendant knew that they were being uh, ch uh, chased and followed by, by police. Let's see, the state has to prove what's called the knowing. And um, so if someone raises intoxication as a defense, the uh, judge is required to read the following. Let's see, to the jurors at the end of the trial. And that is, there is evidence in this case concerning the use by defendant of an intoxicant alcohol on the day in question. Generally, a defendant is not relieved of criminal responsibility because he is found to have acted under the influence of an intoxicated beverage. The general assumption is that every person is normal and possessed of ordinary faculties. The state does not need to prove that the defendant was sober. Let's see. The jurors may consider the evidence of defendant's consumption of alcoholic beverages in determining whether he was intoxicated to such a degree that he was incapable of acting knowingly. Therefore, once there is some evidence of defendant's intoxication, the state must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that such intoxication did not render defendant incapable of acting knowingly. Intoxication under all law means a disturbance of mental or physical capacities resulting from the introduction of substances into the body. And that's NJSA 2C colon 2 AD. In considering the question of intoxication, the jurors should carefully distinguish between the condition of the mind that is merely excited by intoxicated drink and yet capable of acting with knowledge and the condition in which one's mental faculties are so prostrated as to deprive one of his will to act and ability to reason, therefore, therefore rendering a person incapable of acting and thus preventing the person from committing the crime charged with the mental state required of knowingly. This distinction is important because whether or not the defense of intoxication applies is a factual determination to be made by the jurors. The jurors may consider, along with all other evidence, the degree of intoxication determining whether the defendant was capable of acting with knowledge to commit the crime charged. And basically that's that's the it can't be used in a DWI case because that's a traffic matter, but in certain instances intoxication is a defense. For other more information on defenses to criminal charges, visit website njlaws.com. That's njlaws.com or website benotguilty.com. That's B-E, not guilty.com. For other information, visit the Law Office of Kenneth for Cammon, 732-572-0500. Thank you, and good luck.